So I paint it with chip brushes and all kinds of different brushes. And I tell you the makeup brush, it, it really does the best. Um, Welcome to life. My name's Angela and I promote creative living. I mixed my own chalk paint and I made up my own recipe. And then I discovered that the ladies that were painting a lot with chalk paint were using like these really, I'm trying to see you guys, but I don't want to move the camera. Uh, they're using these really expensive brushes and they seemed really soft and it seemed like they picked up a lot of paint. And I tried to get one at Walmart and it ended up being a wax brush, which is not soft and does not pick up a lot of paint. So I had a makeup brush, makeup brush, like not even a super expensive one, just a decent one. Um, and I tell you what, this makeup brush is my absolute favorite brush to paint with because it picks up a lot of paint, it doesn't leave um, paint lines, it, it's wonderful. Shake so. it up too much unless it says don't shake because of bubbles and then that's not good. But you don't have to worry about bubbles and chalk paint, so shake it up good. Oh, one of the things with chalk paint is that chalk will seal the, the chalk like seals the lid so sometimes you have to get it wet or you have to like really use some force. So hopefully I don't have to run and get it wet. Ah, okay, I got it. Whoa, oh, I almost fell into the other coffee table. Whatever, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna pour our paint. And your first coat of chalk paint isn't necessarily gonna look good, okay? Um, but the second and third coat or second coat, just depending, will look wonderful. So as you can see, this brush just, it puts the paint on. You don't want to paint, put it on so thick that, you know, um, just, it's better, it's better to do, uh, several thin coats than one thick coat because it allows the paint to dry better and it just goes on better. So, like I said, I'm not really going any particular direction because when I get done, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sand it all smooth anyway, so I'm using mesh to avoid any chunks, and it doesn't matter which direction I go with my brush strokes because I'm going to sand it all nice and smooth. So here we go, painting some more. And the cool thing about chalk paint, like I said, is you know if you're selling furniture and you want to get stuff done quick, have one of your kids do the first coat. The second coat, I mean, you really you want to pay a little bit more attention to just to make sure it's you know you don't go back over your brush strokes that are halfway dry and uh, yeah, kind of make that not work if you know what I'm saying. When you go over brush strokes that are halfway dry, sometimes the paint pulls back up. So your second coat you probably want to do yourself. But um, I mean, unless, you know, depending on the age of your kid, you know, a four year old obviously, probably not going to be doing the second coat. But you know, my nine year old daughter, she might be doing the second coat. She's really good. She helped me with one. She did a great job. Voice over Angie here. And I wanted to thank you so much for watching the video to this point. If you're getting value out of the video, go ahead and smash that like button in the face to show the YouTube algorithm that others should also watch the video and enjoy it. I would so much appreciate it if you would subscribe if you enjoy content like this. I do a lot of furniture painting with chalk paint and other arts and crafts. So enjoy the show. <laughs> okay, so I just want to show you guys like this is the this is the makeup brush. I think it's hanging in my way. Um, and then I just take like this is just like a sticker label thing, and I just take and just push. See, and you can already see like there's can you see it? There's hair that's hair, whatever, bristles that are coming off. So if you just take and give it a really good, yeah, the macaroni. And this goes for any brush you get, even the best ones, give them a good stick in before you use them. And, okay, so Lily is finishing up painting the tables with the mint green. And after everything is dry, we're going to come back, we're going to sand our coat and see how well uh, the coat goes after sanded. We also have to wash our paintbrushes right away, very important. Um, and then we will apply the glaze. We'll do some distressing and we'll apply the glaze. 
you so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing with a friend. It helps the YouTube algorithm push my video out to other viewers that would enjoy this same content. So thank you again. I'll see you in the next video. If you want to know when it is, hit that notification bell. Bing! Goodbye.